so how did you start longboard? Is I, how did you pick up the longboard? Well, I remember that I dinged my shortboard and I didn't have anything else. And I borrowed this 9-0 longboard and my board took so long to fix. I just like longboard for like three months. And then when I got my longboard back, I like, I'm like, I'm not stopping. I want another longboard. It was something different that no, not much people did. When I didn't know anything about longboarding, my friend Julio, he was like the person that I looked up to. Most of my information that I know now, that I learned in the beginning, like it, it came from him. And that helped me a lot. And I started looking up videos, trying to improve my cross stepping and all my style. It's been pretty hard to get my surfing to what it's now. And the type of boards and equipment that I ride is not easy to get either. Like you don't see none of that equipment here. The Maxi Dark Fest, it's been my goal. And it actually happened, so I'm very happy with that. There was a video submission contest and I was able to upload one and there was 140 videos and there was 12 spots open and I was lucky enough to get one of those spots. I would love to do some WSL. Remember that WSL Rincon 50? I don't know if they're gonna do it again here but it would be super cool if they did it here again. The farm is basically in the is around the house, the garden, and we work. We don't have to go anywhere. We just work at the house. And but before, when I was like a lot younger, my dad was super busy, and he used to sell all around the island and Vieques and Culebra. He ran the sprouts. It was like more than 500 pounds twice a week. It was crazy. After I got my board, like a year after that, we moved to Rincon for the first year. And then he like took a little vacation of a year. Right now that we're a lot more mellow. My dream is to be a free surfer eventually without being like worrying about anything. Take my family for sure. Take my brothers, travel somewhere for the first time for sure. That'll be a big goal my worries and my fears. I haven't thought about that too much. I don't even want to think about it, pretty much. I'm trying to keep it as pos like positive as possible. And I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but it's been working out. <laughs> yeah.